Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is still the 30th of January and this time I have some rather sad news regarding Sega as they are going to be offering a rather sizable number of staff at voluntary retirement and it is about 300 which is not exactly a small number. Now they issued a note today which warned that around 300 employees will be solicited for voluntary retirement as they're part of their ongoing restructuring plans. Now Voluntary retirement is a tactic often used by an employer who anticipates layoffs and wants to reduce the number of affected employees by offering additional to incentives to those willing to retire sooner than they were planning. Now, I think you can understand, you know, if someone was kind of thinking of retiring but not for a few years but then they get offered a few extra shinies to retire early um, and then they go off and they take their retirement plan or whatever, rather than just being sacked, I think, you know, if you have to let people go, at least giving people that option if they want, well, that's not terrible, I mean, it's pretty bad they're being let go, but you get what I mean. Now... Unfortunately, Sega of America seems to be hit particularly hard as their company is planning to move their North American office from San Francisco to Southern California as part of their downsizing that will run from this month to early summer. Now, around 120 jobs are likely to be lost between the 9th of February and the end of March. Now, apparently, no video game releases will be affected by the move and neither will the Sonic Boom TV series which is currently on t Cartoon Network. Now Sega is understandably on a drive for increased profits and they are focusing on digital games particularly smartphone and PC online gaming which they have identified as a growth area. Now I have a bit of a statement here from Sega in which they said quote Voluntary requirement retirement sorry, will be solicited in the aforementioned businesses to be withdrawn or consolidated and downsized, while at the same time personnel be repositioned in digital games and growth areas of group, mainly as development personnel, in order to establish a structure we can constantly generate profits. The purpose of these measures is to improve the business efficiency of the group. Now, at the moment, it is a bit unclear if Sega of Europe is actually affected by the redundancies, but of course I will update you as soon as we're made aware. So basically, they're planning to let a lot of people go, and they're giving some people the option of voluntary retirement, but of course not everyone is actually going to be eligible for that. You know, say you're fairly young, you're like early 30s or something like that, you're not going to be offered the retirement, and even if you are, you wouldn't take it because, well, that's... You know, it's not you weren't thinking of that for many, many years. Of course, if you're a bit older, you might take it and then head off and do your own thing or what have you. So they're obviously trying to soften the blow for some employees, and it's still going to be pretty unpleasant. But at least for those employees, it's not as bad. But for the people who can't take the voluntary retirement or they're not even being offered the voluntary retirement, that's got to suck majorly. It's not exactly fun for people who are getting the voluntary retirement, but yeah, you get my point. So, not exactly good. About 300 people is not exactly small, and that's the only the ones we know about. As I said, we don't know if Sega of Europe is being affected yet. They may indeed be affected. And of course, that could possibly be more jobs are being lost there. This is just for Sega of America, as far as I'm aware. Of course, if I learn differently, I will correct it with an annotation or something like that. But yeah, regardless of where these jobs are coming from, 300 people, not exactly a small amount. And it is sad to see Sega struggling a little bit considering well back in the day they were monoliths i think we all grew up with sega games and sega consoles or at least a lot of us did we may have nintendo as well but you get my point a lot of them a lot of us sorry had sega very firmly in our childhoods and it's a shame to see them pretty much well struggling this way but hey that's just the nature of business unfortunately especially you know when they release terrible games like sonic boom Anyway, that is me done for this video, but do let me know your thoughts and opinions on anything discussed in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.